Ventura is stunning. Everywhere you look, you're gonna see something gorgeous. That's just one of the side effects of living on the coast. What's up everyone? Today I'm sharing with you the pros and cons about living in Ventura, California. I'm a local here, born and raised, and I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite reasons why this is such an amazing place to live. And you know what? Some of the things we can probably do without. Just a quick introduction before we begin. My name's Raleigh Mendez. I'm a local realtor here with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, California Realty. And it is my pleasure to help people like you get the information and advice that you need to know before making a move here. So let's jump straight into it. The pros and cons about living in Ventura, California. Pro number one which is a pretty obvious pro, but who wouldn't want to mention that they live in such a beautiful town? Ventura is stunning. We have, on one side, we're sandwiched, the Pacific Ocean, and on the other side, beautiful rolling hills. Everywhere you look, you're gonna see something gorgeous. I feel lucky every day to just take a quick drive, look around, and see beauty everywhere. Not to mention, 20 miles off our coast, we have the Channel Islands National Park, and that consists of Anacapa Island, Santa Cruz Island, Santa Rosa, San Miguel, and those are all accessible to us, but if you don't have a boat, they're kind of hard to get to. However, we are everyday folk like you and I, and luck, because out of the Ventura Harbor, there's a charter service called Island Packers. I'm not affiliated with them, they're just really cool because they help us get to see the islands. If the islands aren't your thing, we have many options on the mainland for you to do that involve Ventura's beauty, like going to the beach. We have miles of beaches here, great for you to take the family. What's really cool about this place is we're world famous for our surfing. I am stoked almost every day that I get to call this place home, and if I wanted to, go out for a surf and be almost guaranteed to catch a good wave. The water on the beach, you ain't feeling it one day. We have tons of hiking trails and many great parks where you can just go, take the family, take the furry friend, take yourself, and have a nice relaxing walk. With great beauty comes some great dangers. You might have heard a few years ago about some fires that really affected California. Well, in Ventura, we were hit by the Thomas Fire. And yes, Ventura is prone to have fires every now and then. And on top of that, we have what's called Santa Ana winds that hit us every now and then, which also makes us more susceptible to fires. Mother Nature, she's a little bit dangerous at times. Pro number two. If you're a foodie like moi, we got you covered. Ventura has amazing restaurants, amazing breweries, amazing wineries, and some really fun bars. If you want to have an excellent meal, and you know what? feel a little great about yourself because most of them are all small businesses locally owned so you're supporting local and you're eating excellent food what's not to love about that also another great thing we have tons of breweries and they're all great these brewers here have like chemist wizard fingertips because all of our breweries produce amazing beer and you got to go check them out for yourself so you can find your favorite and no I'm going fairly fast through this pro but it's just because I don't feel I'm doing our town justice by going just generally over our food. I'm going to be doing another segment soon about different breweries and restaurants and wineries here. I just can't fit it all into a small portion of a video, but this leads me to my con. We're a small, relaxed beach town. That means things close fairly early here. If you're a night owl and did not plan ahead to make dinner, hopefully you're ordering before 8, 8.30, maybe even 9, because a lot of our places close fairly early. So if you want a dinner reservation pretty late, that's most likely not gonna happen, unfortunately. That's just one of the side effects of living on the coast. Pro number three. This is something that I really love about Ventura. We have such a great sense of community here. It really helps make this place feel like home. We have tons of activities that we all collectively love to do together. One really fun thing that happens every year is the Ventura County Fair. All of Ventura County really looks forward to this. It brings a lot of revenue in for the city. Another thing that really brings us close together is what's called a surf rodeo here in Ventura, California. And that's a cool little weekend get together that a lot of the city comes. There's a cool surf contest that goes on, really cool bands. You're having a fun time, honestly drinking a little bit, eating great food and hanging out with friends and most of Ventura comes to this event and it's just a great time. You're with the whole city doing something together at the same time. You feel bonded, you feel connected, 
and that's just another great aspect about this place. We also have many other small events that go on that still bring us together and make us feel like a whole community. We have a really fun 5k color run. You don't want to run, you want to walk. We have tons of community walks here. Art walks that support local artists. We have brewery walks, that wine walks. We do it all here. It really establishes a firm connection with you and your city and creates that camaraderie that's really great to feel. Another great thing that has happened to help bring our community together during the pandemic is called Main Street Moves. All of the restaurants on downtown Main Street were able to bring their dining services outside. And we closed a decent portion of downtown Main Street just so we can keep supporting our local businesses and help them stay afloat to get through this pandemic. My con to that is that when we do have these events, there are some street closures and even though we're phenomenal with our free parking here in Ventura, if you've seen my top reasons to live in Ventura video, we have tons of free parking. However, when we do have these events, one, you might end up paying for parking, and two, there's some street closures and parking closures where that can sometimes get a little bit frustrating. If you weren't notified about the event and you didn't know that it was happening, you plan on driving somewhere and then the streets closed off because of it, that can sometimes be frustrating. Pro number four, we are centrally located to a lot of great things. Just 30 minutes above us, we have Santa Barbara, which is a very popular tourist destination. Just 30 minutes below us, we have Malibu. And if you wanted to live there, but it's way too expensive, you know what, come to Ventura, we got you covered. LA is just an hour away, and with it being COVID, it's so easy to get there, there's no traffic. And if you want to go walk on the Hollywood Boulevard, go ahead. It's going to take an hour to get there. And if COVID has shed some light on your current living situation, why not think about Ventura? Most people are figuring out, you know what? I can work from home three to four days a week and only need to go into the office once or twice. So why not live somewhere where I want to be more often? On top of us being centrally located to a lot of great places outside of Ventura, we also never really have traffic here. That is awesome. So yes, we're centrally located, but that brings me to another con. But we do have a homeless problem here in Ventura, California, and it's a little heartbreaking at times seeing so many people affected by either drug use or mental disorder. There's not too much you can do about it. I try to give whenever I can and help whenever I can, but there is a slight homeless problem here and it's noticeable when you go out every now and then, you're gonna see a homeless person. However, we are pretty lucky. We're not anywhere near as bad as places like Seattle, San Francisco, New York, where the homeless population is really devastatingly sad there, but it's noticeable. And that's something you should know before moving to Ventura, that if you don't wanna see homeless people, you should probably go move to your hermit in the mountain somewhere, but it's a thing here. Pro number five. This pro correlates with Ventura's beautiful scenery, and that's Ventura's amazing housing options. There are tons of unique and beautiful homes here. We have great places on the beach, great places on the hill, and great places just about everywhere else in Ventura. If you go anywhere like Santa Barbara, San Diego, LA, it's gonna be a bit more expensive. I'm not saying it is extraordinarily cheap here in Ventura, because it's not. We, we are a beach town, and that's gonna have some sort of premium to it. And this brings me to my con with our living situation. It's not the most expensive place, but it is fairly expensive. Yes, you're gonna get a bit of a discount compared to a more mainstream area, but we're still in California. We have pretty high property taxes. It's one of the highest in the country. The, the country and the state, they love to tax the heck out of everyone and anyone wherever they can and they definitely do it here, so that's something to watch out for. Pro number six. This last pro, which is one of my favorites to talk about, is we have a very active arts culture here. We have quite a few galleries that help support local artists, tons of great musicians, some pretty epic comedy clubs in downtown and at the harbor, and a great theater that puts on plays, the Rubicon, and also the Ventura Majestic Theater that has tons of great concerts. So we love our arts here, we love supporting local artists, which leads me to a con. If you're an artist, difficult to get your name out there. It's pretty similar in a lot of other places where it's hard to get up and running, but once you find your niche and get going, you can do it. We're a great place for that because 
we have a great sense of community and there is a lot of support here. If these truths about Ventura went ahead and sold you a little bit more, go ahead and give me a call, text, FaceTime, however you like to communicate. My contact info is in the description down below. Reach out to me anytime you like. I'll get back to you right away. 